Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa Worley and if you're new here, this is Southern Yankee Designs. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cool finish. It is a weathered wood look and it's non-textured. I've done this finish on a lot of different surfaces. I'm going to list in the description box below all of the products that I used. So let's get started. For starters, I will be rolling on two even coats of Sherwin-Williams Balanced Beige. For this project and most of my smaller projects, I like using sample paint. I love using sample paint because I get quality paint for less money. I'm gonna let this dry and get my glaze mixture ready for the next step. My glaze mixture consists of the Sherwin-Williams Brainstorm Bronze and the Velspar Clear Mixing Glaze. My glaze mixture will be 80% glaze and 20% paint. I'm just tinting the glaze with my paint color. This is a wood graining tool. This is one of my favorite faux finish tools. It gives me the look of real wood grain. I'm applying the glaze mixture in one direction with a chip brush. I like using the chip brush because it gives me another wood grain effect. Now I'm going to take my wood graining tool and I'm going to slide it down in one direction, rocking back and forth. The more you rock back and forth, the more movement you will have in your wood grain. If you hold the wood graining tool in one position and don't rock it back and forth, you will get a straighter wood grain effect. Make sure you wipe the excess glaze off of your graining tool in between usage. When painting wood finishes, it's so much easier to work in sections. You definitely want to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you some transformations I did in my clients' homes using these same techniques. This wood graining tool happens to have graining combs on the sides, which gives another wood effect. I like to alternate two different wood tools to give me a more realistic looking wood finish. I wiped the glaze off of my brush and I am lightly going over areas to blend everything together. All done. Now, if you're doing this finish on a floor or someplace where there's going to be a lot of traffic, I would recommend sealing it with a good top coat. For a protective top coat sealer, I recommend this Polycrylic Protective Finish by Minwax. It comes in dull, satin, and gloss, and it is non-yellowing. You can do this finish in any color. The possibilities are endless.
Here are some before and after pictures of work that I did in my clients' homes using similar techniques. As you can see, the possibilities really are endless. The quality of some of these photos aren't really good because they're so old, but at least it'll give you an idea of the transformation. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like this finish. Please give me a big thumbs up. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, or anything you'd like to see in my next video, please leave it below. All of the products that I used, again, I'm going to put in the description box below. And please, please, please subscribe and hit that bell so you can keep up with all of my future projects. Until next time, see ya.